Welcome to this Bentley Systems training course. In this video, you will learn how to generate dynamic seismic loading in RAM frame for performing response spectra analysis according to the Australian Standard for Earthquake Action, AS 1170 Part 4. To generate the dynamic seismic load cases, we will click on Loads from the main menu and then click on Load Cases. Here we will select the dynamic option and from the drop down menu next to this we can select from different dynamic load options including response spectral loading according to various seismic codes as well as the eigen solution. Before adding the response spectral loads let us first select the eigen solution to define the number of modes. We will also enter a label for this and then click the Add button. If you don't add the Eigen Solution load case, the program will consider six modes by default. Adding the Eigen Solution load case will additionally generate mode shape results after the analysis, which is not produced if you skip this process. So let us enter the number of periods requested as 20 and then click OK so that we consider 20 modes in our analysis. Next we will add the AS1170.4 2007 response spectra from the same drop-down list next to the dynamic radio button. Inside this dialog, we can define the directions along which we want to generate the dynamic loads and we can choose whether to consider eccentricity or not. We will leave the default options for this, considering both X and Y directions and also both the positive and negative eccentricities for X and Y directions. You should enter the structural ductility factor and structural performance factor depending on your structure according to section 6.5 of the code. You should also refer to section 3 of the code to provide appropriate values for the probability and hazard factors. Clause 7.4.3 of the seismic code allows us to combine the modes using a recognized method of mode combination. Within RAM frame, two common methods for doing this are available. We can either use the SRSS or CQC method. The SRSS method can give inaccurate results for 3D structures, but when 2D structures are analyzed, both methods will produce similar results. So in case of our 3D model, we will select the CQC method. You can choose from between five different side subsoil classes, which again you should select considering the most appropriate option as per section 4 of the code. The spectral ordinates of the response spectra will depend on the site subsoil class that you have selected here. You can also enter the damping ratio. The default value for this in the program is 5%. Lastly, the scale factors can be provided to scale the spectrum acceleration values from the response spectra file in X and Y directions if required. Now we will click on OK to generate our response spectra load cases. Once we perform the analysis, we can review the information related to the periods and modes including the mass participation factors. To view information related to the periods and modes, go to Reports from the main menu and then click on Periods and Modes. According to the seismic code, a sufficient number of modes should be included to ensure that at least 90% of the mass of the structure is participating for the direction under consideration. 
the mass participation can be found in this report under the section titled Model Effective Mass Factors. You can navigate to the page that contains this title. The percentage mass values represent the mass participation for one particular mode. The percentage sum m values represent the cumulative mass participation. We can see here that we have included enough number of modes as the percentage sum m value is above 90% for the last mode for all directions. To view the mode shape results, you can click on process from the main menu and then go to mode shapes from the results list. You can select any mode and then click on the apply button to view the displaced shape of the structure for that particular mode. This concludes our training video on generating response spectral loading in RAM frame according to AS 1170 part 4. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.